Going to look at an interactive simulation that models the Hilsch tube. And this is something that takes high pressure air at room temperature and splits it into two streams a cold stream, and in particular example here, half the air goes to the cold stream, half is going to the hot stream. This can be adjusted with this valve, which is controlled by this slider in the simulation. The colors try to approximately represent temperature in that colder temperatures are blue and in warmer temperatures end up being red. So for this particular setting, you can see that half the gas, the temperature increases by 42 degrees, and half the gas, the temperature decreases by 42. So it satisfies the first law for a constant heat capacity. Also notice we calculate the entropy change. The entropy change is positive, mainly related to the fact that we're decreasing the pressure, and so as we lower the pressure, entropy increases. So this simulation calculates efficiency, that's what this number is, and this is what's the change in temperature between the feed and the cold stream divided by what change in temperature would be if we did an adiabatic expansion reversibly. And so this does not take into account what fraction is cooled. It just says if we had gas, we expanded it reversibly and adiabatically. The coefficient of performance takes that into account, so it multiplies this efficiency by the fraction, which is 0.5, so two significant figures. 0.5 is half of 0.29. The other way of looking at this coefficient of performance, it's how much cooling we can accomplish with this cold air from the Hills tube versus how much cooling if we cooled all of the gas from an adiabatic reversible expansion. So let's look at this simulation and see how the pressure and the fraction, the cold stream, affect the outlet temperatures and the efficiency. So here in the interactive simulation you can see if we were to increase the feed pressure, notice that we lower the temperature, the cold temperature, we increase the hot temperature. If I were to decrease the fraction that's in the cold stream, then I likewise can lower the temperature more so it can get fairly large temperature drop from just the Hilsch tube. Now, as I, let's go back, if, if I look at increasing the pressure, notice that the entropy change increases rather significantly since the large part of this entropy change is that log of final pressure over initial pressure in the entropy calculation. Also notice that, again, if we look at, as I increase the pressure, the efficiency goes down, the coefficient of performance goes down. And as I decrease the fraction, the cold stream, the efficiency goes up. So the efficiency goes up, but the coefficient of performance goes down because remember the efficiency times the fraction in the cold stream is the coefficient of performance. So the idea of a Hilsch tube, its advantage is it has no moving parts but can create a low temperature stream that can be used for cooling down small pieces of equipment.